Hello everyone. Welcome to Avisol. My name is Amit, and today we are going to see how to generate Excel sheet using Apache PY and Spring Boot application. So let me show you what we are going to do as part of this video. Okay. So I have the Spring Boot application running on my local, and let me call this API 8080 Excel and click on this. Uh, if you see here, okay. So again, let me click on this. You can see that Excel sheet is getting downloaded here. Okay, so let me click on that Excel sheet, and you will see this Excel sheet. Okay, so here uh, headers are name, email, and department, and then respective data. So same kind of Excel sheet we are going to create as part of this Spring Boot application. So let's start with the Spring Boot application. Let's open uh, STS. So here, let's create a Spring Boot application. Right click, New, and then Spring Starter Project. So here we have to provide the name of project. Let's say Excel Sheet Excel Demo. Excel Demo. Then uh, Java 17 Maven. Okay, and change the name of package. Here, let's say Excel demo. Okay, that's it. Now click on next. And here uh, we have to select um, uh, Spring Web only. Okay, Spring Web. Now click on next and finish. Now our application is ready. So in that application, first we have to create uh, packages. So create a packages. So basically we need two packages. One is controller and another is service. So create the packages in new package, then dot controller. After this, we have to create another package called as service. Then we need again another package called as a uh, model. Okay, so basically here we are going to create an Excel sheet for employee list. So for that, we need an employee, uh, employee class. Okay, so already I have copied this employee class. Let me show you. Uh, so this is the employee class and create. So it just to save the time. Okay. Employee. And then paste here. That's it. Now the next thing is. Okay, so here we have employee class which contains name, email and department. So what we can do here, let's create a getters and setters. Okay. And create a parameterized constructor. Okay. Now we have parameters constructor and getters and setters. Now come to the uh, sir, uh, controller class. So here we have to create a class called as, let's say Excel controller. Excel controller. And here we have to provide annotation, let's say add rate trace controller. And then we have to create here one API. So let's create public. Uh, run type is the response. Okay, response entity, uh, which contain array of byte. Okay, array of byte. That's it. And the method name is, um, let's say, get or download Excel sheet. Okay. Download. Excel like this. Then after this, uh, we are good. So basically, uh, to create Excel, we need a data. Okay, we need a data. And here we are not using the database to get the data. We are creating the hard coded data here. Okay. So first, let's give the annotation added get mapping and slash Excel. Okay, slash Excel. That's it. Now uh, first, we have to create a data. So now let's create the data here, okay? So we have the list of employees. You can see list employees is equal to arrays as a list. So here by using the arrays class, we are creating the list of employees which contain name, email ID and department. So that's it. Now we have the data uh, in form of list. Now the next thing is we have to create a service class where we are going to create uh, logic or we have to write a logic to convert this data into the Excel sheet. So let's see. So here you can see service package. So right click new class, 
and the class name is called excel service finish after this use at the rate rest con sorry at the rate service and then we have to write a method so method name let's say public uh written type is array of bytes so byte array and then method name let's say uh, generate excel generate excel that's it now we are good here okay and that generate excel method need a list of employees employee employees okay that's it we are good here now the next thing is we have to write a logic to convert these things or uh, that list of employee into the excel sheet uh, so here we are going to use uh, apache py library so for that we need to add one dependency so let me show you this dependency so this is the dependency here and here we have to add this dependency inside the pom.xml so you can see this is the pom.xml present into the project so click on that pom.xml and paste here so here i have already added this uh, dependency but you have to uh, paste this dependency and don't worry about uh, that code so i have provided this code and dependency details in the gifford github okay so that github link will be there in the description that's it now uh, we have that uh, dependency the next thing is we have to write here logic okay so to save the time i already uh, written that logic so let me show you so we have to write this uh, logics uh, which i have already uh, created here and to save the time uh, i just copied and paste here okay so let's understand this logic to write a excel sheet so here if you see we have created here workbook is equal to new xsf workbook so basically this is the interface coming from the uh, that apache py library and this is the implementation now after this every excel sheet has a sheet okay sheet so let's create here sheet 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 is equal to workbook dot get create sheet and we have to provide here name of this sheet so let's say uh, sheet name is employee now here we are good now we have to add here headers so let me show you so these are the headers that we needed name email and department so let set that headers name email and department so here we are using row so that means row is equal to sheet dot create row so it will create one row at zeroth index that means the first row okay that zeroth row we can say that or index and on zeroth row we have to set the headers okay so header row create a cell so it will create a first cell on first row okay so it will create a first cell on first row here we are creating the name okay so name similarly on first uh, cell we are creating here email okay email header and then department so these headers are ready here you can see okay so that headers are ready inside our code now after this we have to put the data okay we have to put the data now see here uh, we have employee list and we have to iterate this employee list one by one now we for this we have written for each loop and in that for each loop we are iterating first employee and here we are using again sheet okay in that sheet we are creating the first row okay first row so we have created the first row okay so the row number is one and then after creating a row that row number will get increased by one because of this plus plus operator okay so if you see here that row will get created okay due to this code due to this code and in that row we are again creating the cell okay so zero cell where we are setting employee get employee name from the uh, employee object so we are getting the name from the employee object now on second uh, cell okay so this is a, on a next cell where we are setting the email of the employee and on the next cell we are again setting the department of the employee that's it so we are good here now the next thing is uh we have to create a byte array output stream okay so basically this is the array of uh, this is provided by the java okay it is coming from the java.io package and in that uh, uh, or, or in that workbook we have to add this output stream okay and we need to close that uh, workbook okay and we have to return 
that output stream. So basically, when we call verboot.write and we are passing that output stream, so that write method will modify it of that output stream and it put all the data in form of stream. Okay, what are the data we have written here? So that data will get inserted into the output stream. And then we are returning or we are converting that uh, output stream into the byte array and we are returning this. Okay, so that's all about the code. Now, uh, the next thing is we need a controller which we already created. Okay, so, but still we need some changes into the controllers. So let me show you. This is our controller and here first auto wire auto wire that excel service excel service that's it okay now we are good here the next thing is we have to call this excel service dot create excel or generate excel method and here we have to pro provide this employees list that's it and it will return byte array excel bytes Let's say Excel bytes, okay, that's it. Now uh, we have a raw data of bytes. We have to uh, send it on the browser in form of Excel sheet. So for this, we need to use response entity. So return response entity. And here we need to call okay dot okay status. Okay, so after this, we have to pass here headers. Okay, so headers and then after the header, we need to pass body. Okay, so dot body. And inside the body, we need to pass that byte array. That Excel sheet byte array. So pass this array here and then we are good. We are good here. Okay, now if you see, this is the response entity. Okay, let me elaborate this header thing. Response entity, uh, okay, response is okay. And inside the headers, we have to pass the metadata for the browser and browser will uh, render this uh, byte array, okay, as per that headers. So here content decomposition is a property whose value is attachment. That means this uh, we are sending the attachment. And apart from this, the file name is equal to employee.xlx. So this is attachment, so it will get download. That data will get download uh, due to that headers is equal to attachment and that file name will be employee.xls. Now, this is the uh, this is about our REST controller. So our REST controller is ready. Now let's restart the application or start the application and let's see will it work or not. Okay, so our, our API is Excel, so let's open localhost http localhost 800 slash excel slash excel and then enter now you can see that employee excel sheet is downloaded so let me open this excel sheet okay and now you can see the data in form of excel sheet so you can refer these all codes uh through the github so the link is provided into the description and if you like so please share and subscribe thanks for watching the video